Welcome back sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers with Leonelin at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonelin. Now, let's answer question from one of our followers na ito ay pinipm sa ating FB page. A train, go, uh, a train goes from station A to station B at speed of 200 kilometers per hour. While returning, the train has a better engine. It is faster by 100 kilometers per hour than the old engine. What is the train's average speed? So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay average speed. What is the average speed for round 3? Remember, kapag sinabing average speed, laging tandaan na yan ay total. Okay? Total distance. Huwag lang kayong mag-add tapos i-divide ng 2 kapag given yung dalawang speed. Dapat total distance divided by sa total time. Ito yung average speed. Yung regarding naman sa speed, no need na natin yang i-memorize yung speed na sa given yan mismo. Ang speed, di ba, nandyan ang kilometer per hour. Kilometer means distance. Per, i-divide natin yan, hour means time. Ito na yung formula natin. Speed equals distance over time. Kapag time naman ang hinahanap natin, since pang divide si time, pang multiply na yan sa speed. So, we have t times speed equals distance. Tapos, ito naman si speed, since pang multiply siya dyan, yung time mismo, equals distance over speed. So, therefore, ito pala, kapag distance ang hinahanap, that means time times speed. Kapag time naman ang hinahanap, means distance divided by speed. I-rewrite natin ito dito banda. So, we have speed equals distance over time. Kapag si time naman, means distance over speed. And then, kung si distance naman, means time times speed. Sana nakuha nyo kung paano ito ha. So, kung balikan lang natin, this is d over t, since pang divide yan siya, pang multiply na yan dito sa speed. So, speed times time equals distance. Kaya kung hanapin si distance, ito yun siya, i-multiply lang natin sa time, yung time at speed, yan lang ang i-multiply natin. So, ngayon, proceed na tayo. Yung train A to B, kunin natin yung total time kasi. Yung time taken from A, distance A to B, ay D over 200. Ito na yung 200 kilometers per hour. Paano nga ba? Let D para sa distance mismo, hindi man given sa distance. So, para sa time taken, A to B, wait, yung time mismo dito sa A, to B ay equal sa distance over 200. Now, yung time taken naman from B going to A, that is distance again, kasi let D para sa distance. Si distance A to B at B to A equal lang yung distance na yan. So, ang distance naman dito ay 100, asa na yun? 100 kilometers faster by 100 kilometers per hour meaning ada lang natin ng 100 yung 200 so therefore this is 300 ito na yung speed so ulitin natin yung time taken ay distance divided by uh, yung speed yung time taken distance divided by speed yung pabalik naman distance yung bagong speed niya na 300 Kapag sinabing faster than 100, that means 200 plus 100. Meron dito na given yung 200. So, therefore, faster by 100. Ada natin ang 100. Kaya sa pangalawang balik niya ay 300 ang speed na niyan. So, ngayon, kukunin natin yung total time. I-add natin yan siya. 
So, we have D over 200. Ada natin ng D over 300 kasi yan yung time. Least common denominator ay 600. Paano ba nakuha yung 600? Yan yung least common denominator dito sa dalawa. 600 divided by 200, that is 3. 3 times D, this is 3D. 600 divided by 300, that is 2. 2 times D, this is 2D. So, pwede na natin siyang i-add. 3D plus 2D, this is 5D. Ito na yung total 5D. Ito na yung total time natin. Meron na tayong total time. Sa distance naman, madali na lang. Kasi yung total distance natin, pariho lang naman, di ba? Let D para sa distance natin. Dalawa yung distance kasi pabalik-balik lang yan siya. A to B, B to A. So, we have 2D. Again, so distance 1 plus yung distance 2, yung pagbalik-balik na yan. So, therefore, we have dalawang distance. Pariho lang yan. Now, dito na tayo sa average speed. Average speed means total distance divided by total time. Itong total distance, i-divide daw natin sa total time. So, 2D divided by 5D over 600. Division of fraction tayo kasi fraction yung 5D over 600 natin. Kopyahin natin si 2D. Ang division maging multiplication. Reciprocal nitong ating pang-divide 600 over 5D. Ganito kapag mag-divide mag tayo ng mga fractions. So, pwede na natin i-cancel itong D. So, 600 divided by 5, pwede na natin yung i-divide which is equal to 120. Then, 2 times 120, this is equal to 240. Ito na yung sagot. 240 kilometers per hour. Ito na yung average speed sa round trip. Thank you for watching and all I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.